everyone thank you for stopping by i'm drawing a dragon here inspired by the movie games of throne i was just in the mood of painting and drawing a dragon for my reference i used several different reference photos uh, downloaded from the internet uh, some were of lizards and reptiles others were from dragons and uh, also dinosaurs and I just came up with a pose that just felt right for me the materials that I'm using are bought through Amazon and I'll place those links down below if you have any other questions just feel free to ask in the comments section below so I've never really drawn anything reptilian or dragon or scales of any kind in the past uh, I've always struggled with that and so I'm trying to see and make sense of the way these scales go uh, and hope that it makes sense when all of it is put together if you guys have any tricks on how to do scales and that would be easy just let me know so you'll see during the course of this uh, painting how I change things around and I'll explain that as uh, the video goes forward And here is the completed drawing, all ready to paint. Sit back and enjoy.
Fabric softener sheet, something simple like this can work for any texture that you're looking for. What I do is I lightly spray through the fabric sheet, um, light enough that it won't stick to your canvas. And you just take your time and switch it around so that you don't get the same pattern in the same area because it wouldn't look right. And something just like that can go a long way. And that's the texture that I was looking for. Whatever works. Simple as that. So here I noticed that his belly was uh, going in the wrong direction and I just painted it not paying attention of course but later on you'll see how I changed that and how I fix it. I thought I wanted to airbrush this whole dragon however uh, my equipment was giving me some failure so I decided to change the technique and you'll see as a uh, as the video progresses. So guess what? I decided to change the entire color of this dragon. I thought I wanted a yellow golden dragon, however I just was not feeling it. And so then I wanted to change it to an orange fiery red and I wasn't feeling that. So the beauty of this is that you can decide what you want to paint your dragon or your subject as. And I just decided to go with black. I thought he would pop more if he was in black. And now I'm using a traditional brush just to change the color uh, that was underneath. And I'll use that yellow-ish color a little bit under the wings.
that I changed the position of his belly, uh, I used that paint pen just to give me a direction of where the scales will be. And now I'm using the brush just to um, paint that underside of his thigh and make the belly more forward. So now here you're going to notice me you go back to the airbrush and if you do traditional uh, paint brushing using the airbrush for shading is a game changer. Um, to use the brush it would take me so long to go through each and every individual little scale but with this airbrush it makes it so much easier for me and I just use a very diluted uh, black carbon black paint just so that it's not harsh it's just a shadow that's all I wanted just to make it look three-dimensional and you can see those scales just pop out This is a hard eraser and what I do is I remove some paint just to give it some highlights back down into the canvas color. Um, this helps to make it look even more uh, brighter and sharper. I'm trying to make his head look as though it were really on fire so what I'm doing here is using the paint pen to highlight underneath and then uh, glaze over it with a bright red just to make it look as though his head is really on fire. If you have any tricks on how to make this glow even more just give me a comment below and let me know how to do it. This is my favorite part, the unveiling. It's so satisfying just to peel away all masking. And here it is, all done. Thank you for sharing with me this journey in completing this dragon. I know it was a long video, but I hope it was worth your while. Thanks so much for watching. just so much going on and I wanted to show everyone what I go through in the process so thanks again and hope to hear from you again